Hello everyone, I'm the Criminal Archer, and welcome to a modded RimWorld. Um, I decided to do a modded run, some people would ask for one. Seemed like a good idea, we're a little bit between builds at the moment. Um, this is going up a little later than I would like, because I had some trouble installing it, which is partially my own inability to read directions properly, but we'll not worry about that. The mod we are using is called the Ultimate Overhaul Mod Pack, which is actually a whole crap ton of mods mixed together. Um, I'm not using any of the extra add-ons for this one because because this took me much longer to get installed than I thought it would. I didn't get to uh, um, I didn't get to play with this ahead of time to get an idea of what was going on. So you're gonna watch me fail. It's basically what this probably is. Um, so buckle up. Once the, if I can get my feet underneath me with this kind of play, I will eventually. I'll add another mod pack. There's a zombie apocalypse one that seems kind of neat but we're just gonna start basic first and so the first thing we see here is new storytellers that have been added we have the three normal ones Cassandra Phoebe Randy but then you've got wave survival this is frequent resource drops and trader traders limit the amount of gathering and crafting that your colonists need to do so you can focus on quickly building your base and fighting off wave after wave of raiders games are shorter and faster paced than vanilla rimworld then you've got Hildegard Epic, a veteran of the Grim Mechanoid War and Scald of Jotheim Assault Infantry Corps. Hildegard's songs are full of flame and courage like Jotunheim's prime, prime's people themselves. So I'm guessing this is a lot of um, fighting. Then you've got Excipiter Periodic. She basically sends you... Um, she sends you raiders on a determined interval once every weekend, so like once a week. And then you've got Serenzes sadistic. I don't know. To do, she's mountains of painful stories. In her stories, characters are usually face their doom after writhe in agony of endless pain. She loves these kind of stories. All right. So I'm actually gonna try this lady, Hildegard Epic, which is probably not the best plan for the first time out. Challenge is where we're supposed to be, right? Isn't that how that works? Yeah, we're going to go and challenge. Um, I think that's the basic level. We're going to see how it goes. Expecting to die. Um, I already generated a world, so let's select a place on it. Um, I'm going to do something, I think, a little different this time. We've been doing cold areas in the past. So we're going to do something I kind of want to do. What is that? Temperate forests. Oh, it's a faction base. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do something, I think, here. Arid. Desert, mountainous. I don't know about desert, though. I'd like to actually be able to grow crops this time. So maybe just... We'll go old school and just do uh, temperate forest, mountains. I think we're going to have enough problems to deal with anyways without having to worry about... Uh, this, so I'm also going to go in to prepare carefully. This is one of the mods. We used this in a modded run a few builds ago. Um, this lets you change all kinds of junk about your characters. So we're actually going to start with this person because this actually looks pretty good. We have to uh, clean up some spots apparently. That we have way too many. We're way over points it looks like. But let's see, we've got this lady, Setsuko Nielsen, who is good at medicine and research. She's way... she's probably... no, no shooting melee. We can do, take our melee down some, that'll save us some points. And that... just trying to get this guy the Luddite who's incapable of crafting an intellectual. Cool shades, man. Luddite Rebel. Masochist and Abrasive. Yeah, I don't want Rebrasive. Too Smart. Brawler. Prostophile. That doesn't change anything. Alright, we're gonna do with that. I don't want Abrasive, because Abrasive is... Abrasive, as, as the name uh, implies. Let's randomize this. Masochist Brawler. Psychically Sensitive Prostophobe. Heat lover, prostophobe, fast walker. All right, we'll keep those. All right, so we need to we need to 
deal with some points here. I actually need to look look closer here as well. So let's take, we don't have, you're decent at social. We'll take that flame away. That'll help some. He can grow. No intellectual, no artistic. That's okay. No intellectual, no crafting. What if we take your... We'll take your fire away from melee as well. Knock that down a few points. There we go. Mm. Trying to see where we can save some points. You need what, at least one point in shooting. <laughs> Knock the melee down. Can't put that down any further. Okay. Um, can we get rid of nudist? That doesn't cost us anything. Good. Oh, brawler. I don't want brawler. Too smart, maybe? I forget what too smart does. Where are you, too smart? Does this tell me? See, it doesn't tell me. It's unfortunate, because I can't remember what too smart does. Boy. Careful shooter. Trigger happy. Abrasive. Cannibal. Psychopath. Bloodlust. Nudist. I'm actually just going to do heat tolerant. I'm going to make these people relatively basic in their um, things here. Just so that we can be a little bit more out of this. Mining, growing, construction. See, the problem is is that these people, like the person who's researching is going to research non-stop. That's basically all they're going to do. So we might want to lower her skills in other things and r ruin her fire for them. Yeah, we're going to do this. And then we'll uh, use these points to help over here. Um, so let's see, I'm going to bump construction, growing, melee, melee can come down another notch, mining, alright that's pretty close, I think this will probably work, yeah, I think this will work, it's not the best group in the world, but it'll work. Alright, I'm gonna jump in. Actually, let's do next here. I'm not gonna mess with all this. We're just gonna go with basic stuff. We don't have any points to spare on this, so we're just gonna go with the basic stuff we have. There's all kinds of extra things you can use here. Food, apparel, yada yada yada. Um, Alright, I'm gonna jump in. I will see you in game. Welcome everyone! We're now in game. Alright, so we got some... We're gonna take a look around here before we really get rolling. What is this? You can open help for miscellaneous column groups whenever you want. Press Shift K. Alright, let's see what that is. Shift K. Miscellaneous col colony groups. Keys can be divided. Define where colonists should go. Use them. You can... Oh, you can set up places for people to go. Okay. So let's take a look at our new home, shall we? Let's see where we want to live. My immediate response is here. But we'll take a little closer look. Alright, there's a steam geyser there. There's one there. Just trying to take stock of where we are. What is that? Rim dog? Oh, very cute. Got an alphalo. Alright, so I think I'm pretty sure. What are these? More rim dogs? We're gonna set up shop in here. Is that mega slug and we're gonna set up shop in here eventually when we get steam geysers we're gonna go over here I've looked at the tech tech tree for this thing by the way and it's ridiculous so it's gonna be a long time um, so we've got all this stuff this is our people we've got chimp Harry and Nielsen and architect panel is now ridiculously huge um, got our zones which different icons we got our Structures, medical, nothing in medical right now, lighting, just a torch at the moment, huh? Burns for a few days. Food, got food, prep table, some little grill, fishing pier. Alright. 
Got lots of weird stuff here that this is going to be... Where is research? Is it under something? I mean, until you read a conscious... Until you build a research bench, your colleges will not actually be able to do research. However, you can still look and choose projects. All right, so now we see so we have it. It's more divided like this: agricultural one, construction one, crafting power, etc. So our first task, I guess, we'll live in this building for the first bit here. So arc, agriculture. So let's unrestrict all this stuff. Don't know what everything is. Why not, right? What is this? Potato seeds? Oh, we have actual seeds now? Okay. We have a Ferx, which is a... Ferx is only found in large numbers on desolate rim planets, where the hunt for their luxurious fur isn't deemed worth the time and effort. Alright. So who is our best shot? Who was our best shot? I don't want your gear. I want your info. No, you're... Nielsen is our is going to be our researcher, so then we need Chimp is our best shot, so you come get this. That makes you our second best shot, and you can come get this. All right. I don't know what all these things are, like these little icons. Oh, it's things they need. So she needs clothes. Did because you were a nudist, are you not wearing any clothes? She's wearing a pair of socks. Okay. Sorry, lady. Didn't realize that. You're going to have to be naked for a while. My bad. Alright. So we need some... Put a door here, and a door here. We'll do sleeping spots. One, two, three. Some place for them to live for a little bit. Let's get our everybody set up here. We'll go to, straight to manual priorities. And we'll do, well, that's going to be your number one task eventually, but right now we need people hauling, cleaning. You're also going to be our number one doctor. Negotiate. That's different. Construction. All right, you're number one construction. You're going to be number one grower. But everybody does everything. My good old standby. Fishing, now a thing, apparently. Yep. You're gonna be our number one negotiator. Everybody flicks. Everybody patience. Everybody dot firefights. There we go. That'll work for the moment. So let's put up let's set up some zones here. So we need the zone. A dumping stockpile, which I'll just put right here for now. Put a regular stockpile just below it. And we will let them go. There we go. Now we have a home. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's where they're going with it. Oh, that's a nice little touch. Where they're taking things. Alright, so what do we have? Do we have anything in terms of food and farming? Food prep tables zone areas growing zones all right we can create a growing zone i'm gonna put it right here i guess the only thing we can make right now is potatoes because it's the only thing we have seeds for is that how that works that's how that works harry is also not wearing pants so we have two people without clothes and a hunter. And Harry doesn't have a... Is it Harry? No, it's, she doesn't have a weapon. Okay. Lovely. That's going to make everyone very happy. Oh, dark night time. Yes, this is... Um, the Darker Nights is one of the, th one of the mods, which I actually may need to turn off just because I like it, but it doesn't work so well for uh, for this sort of thing when we're working as a as a video here. Little pain sharing naked bedroom. All right. All right. So we need to get the first thing we need to get up. I'm gonna try and find it wherever the hell it is. Is our 
research bench. Probably should probably get some joy stuff up as soon as possible as well. Furniture. Where are you, storage bench? I assume we start with it, as otherwise that would not work so well. Food prep table. Painting easel. Research bench. There you are. Wood plank. Okay, apparently we have to make wood planks before we, we can turn our wood into wood planks. Alright, so that's probably in somewhere. Hand sawmill. There we go. Let's turn it around this way. Wakey wakey everybody. Got work to do. Day's getting away. I guess I didn't do anybody's schedule that I work. Work. Put some joy in the middle of the day. There we go. As soon as this is done, yep, bills, add bill, wood planks, give me a whole bunch of them. Somebody's on crafting, you're on crafting. As soon as they get that done, this will get done, and then Nielsen can stand in her nakedness. Oh, what was that? Mosquito? She just got beat up by a mosquito. That's different. Yeah, there we go. Research bench. No mosquitoes in here, lady. Alright, research. Let's start with power. Let's start with power. Might not be the best choice, but I like to have power. Alright, so what was I gonna do? I was going to do something. Oh, I was going to check, make sure that she is number one on, not on hauling anymore. Research is our first priority after all the basic stuff. All right. This is where you live now, Nielsen. Hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> all right, so we need to start... We don't have, well, we do have actual beds. We need beaver skin though, apparently. So what can we make right now? Food prep table, painting easels, zone marker, wooden floors, stone floors. Oops. I need to make some joy, actually. Let's put out a wooden, uh, wooden horseshoe pin. Archery target. Oh, you need a bow for that. So now they have something they can do on their free time. When they're wandering around without pants, like they do. Go kill that thing. I want to see what happens. Let's see if this looks different. You are not a very good hunter. Get him. Kill him. No. <laughs> Gonna take a break here and go to sleep. <laughs> Alright. Flux. Furlux says it. He's coming for revenge! Apparently he's just gonna wait out there. Broken manhunter. Oh, they become manhunters. Okay. Interesting. I didn't mean to shoot you, if that helps, Mr. Furlix. Furix, whatever you are. I was trying to kill the thing over there. 
take our two uh, two people with guns and deal with this. Yeah, yeah. No, no, chimp, don't don't get shot. There we go. Jamestown sounds good to me. Can you uh, treat him, please? How's this thing doing? I guess we'll just let it bleed to death and then we'll deal with it. No, okay. Never mind, actually. You know, cancel that. I don't want you, um. Chimp, what's your problem now? No, oh, can you do take care of this, please? He's actually been treated properly now. This thing is still alive. It'll be dead soon. We can deal with it. Alright. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to remember how long I went. Uh, I think I'm going to stop here for today. I hope you're enjoying it. This is our new... Uh, adventure in the ultimate overhaul mod pack so far we haven't died which i consider that to be a bonus uh if you enjoyed it consider leaving me a like helps me out a great deal or possibly subscribing if you want to see more thanks so much for joining me